Hey guys! So, this is one of my October videos. Like I said in a previous video, I'm going to be making more spooky things for October, my favorite month. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is about uh, my experiences with sleep paralysis and other uh, weird dreams I'm not sure how to describe. So, first I need to say that, like, um, because of mental illness, I have experienced uh, visual and auditory hallucinations, not often, just in uh, certain times, and um, and that people who often experience sleep paralysis, which I'll explain in a second, um, may be neurotic, may have personality disorders, It's there's this big connection. So anyway, if you don't know what sleep paralysis is, it's basically um, when you go to sleep, and you dream your body kind of shuts you down so that you're not like running in your sleep and weird stuff like that because you dream weird things sometimes so what happens with sleep paralysis is that you kind of wake up your body is still paralyzed and you're also kind of dreaming so you're hallucinating so a lot of scary stories like alien abductions or seeing ghosts or shadow men which is very popular often this can be attributed to sleep paralysis also in the past um incubus things like that sleep paralysis fun stuff very scary for it to happen it's terrible. so the first instance of sleep paralysis that i recall um in my dream i was laying down uh on my side facing that way <laughs> which is for you right I don't know <laughs> this way I was facing this way towards my room where my desk is and my room was dark I was fully clothed because I had gone to sleep I was very tired after class and I had gone to sleep fully clothed um and I woke up at like eight something and it was my room was totally dark and I didn't have like a podcast or anything like how I fall asleep I have to have somebody talking I didn't have anything like so my room was silent in the corner of my room, I saw this shadow figure, uh, like a silhouette of a person, like Slenderman type, long arms, the typical shadow person body. So it started kind of the size of my desk, which is like a tall computer desk from Ikea from like 2002, <laughs> something like that. And then he started to grow and essentially stretch out like a shadow does across my ceiling. And I was very scared, and I just remember shutting my eyes. The second instance of sleep paralysis that I recall um, was a lot scarier to me. I was on my back, and I was dressed in pajamas. And I looked up at my ceiling, which has clouds painted on it. And I was looking at the clouds, and all of a sudden they started moving. At first I thought the clouds were moving. Then I kept looking and I noticed where they developed, you know, hallucinations. They developed and they were like these um, corpse-like ghost figures. If you played Harry Potter and the um, Chamber of Secrets video game, those ghosts with like the huge boobs and they're like half body, that's basically what it was. It was um, like a ghoulish figure. Um, they were certainly ghosts, like I knew that. And they were kind of like squirming around on my ceiling. Um, and like a pattern. Um, it was much like, you know, when you like close your eyes and you rub them and you see like colors and stuff, that kind of like pattern, but it was like these ghouly ghost things. And it was absolutely terrifying. When I woke up from this, like for real woke up, I just felt really uneasy and horrible and I just for like a couple days I felt really bad and creeped out so the next three dreams um kind of harder to describe um the latter two I'm going to tell you about don't really fit sleep paralysis or lucid dreaming or anything so I'll get back to that the first dream was just a very very strange dream I would say it was more like lucid dreaming or just my mind fucking with me so basically, I don't remember the first part of the dream, but I ended up, I was standing outside my room in the hallway, and the light was on, just as it is now, like I'm looking, 
and my mom, my dad, and my sister were there, and I were talking to them, and earlier in the dream, I vaguely remember because how it connects to the rest of the dream, I was studying, like, ghosts. Because, like, that's something I do. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I had been, I discussed with them, like, I figured something out, and I think I'm not supposed to say it. Like, I'm not supposed to let you know. And they're like, we'll just say it. It's like, whatever. And I'm like, well, I found out that at all times there are ghosts that just, like, hang above us, especially when we're sleeping. And they're like, okay, why can't you tell us that? And I say, because if I say it, they know I say it, and then they target me and whoever I tell. Whoever knows, right? And that one, that's fucking scary. Two, then I open the, my bedroom door and I go in my bedroom and over top my bed is like <sighs> some type of ghost. Uh, basically similar to the ghoulish figure I described before. Uh, maybe like a Dementor type. And, um, and then I turn back to my mom and dad and my sister who are standing there and I say, see, see what I mean? Now it knows. And I woke up. And, you know, when I woke up, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm trying to record. I'm trying to record. I'm trying to record. The last two dreams, again, hard to describe. Um, I want to say they're lucid dreaming because lucid's, like, something that you can control and you know you're dreaming type thing. Um, when I've heard stories about different dreams um people have talked about astral i don't know if that's how you describe it astral projection um basically you leave your body um and when i've listened to their descriptions of their dreams that sounds a lot like my dreams so basically they're very similar um the first one was a few years ago when my now boyfriend and i were not really dating but dating and we were sleeping, and I kept dreaming of me laying there and watching myself, so I could see myself laying there behind him, and then I would also see myself standing there, and I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it was, I could not tell when I was awake if I was awake, and when, and if, if I was asleep, it was really weird. It's very hard to describe. The second one, I find terrifying. Um, and I think I've had dreams like this before, but I can't really recall. So this one, something happens the first part of the dream, and I don't remember, but I am now in my bedroom, and I wake up in the dream, and I turn on my light, my bedroom light. And everything is kind of hazy and foggy, smoky, kind of moving around. Like um, a drunken state type thing, maybe like in a cartoon, like, ooh, wobbly. I exit my bedroom, and I'm in the hallway, and everything is still kind of moving. And it's not like really moving, but it's like there's a static object, and it's kind of like also moving. Like in photographs where you take a picture of something, and then you move the camera, and it kind of takes the image. That's what it was like. And everything kind of like had this really yellow hue to it, like this tint of orange and yellow. And I'm trying to speak, but nothing's coming out. It's like, like that. <clears throat> and um, it's freaking me out in the dream. I'm like, why can't I speak? Why can't I say anything? And I think that's because I was trying to talk in my sleep. Um, which... It was weird because I also do that. So I don't know what the case was. So I walk past my sister's bedroom and I like try to knock on her door but I can't. Like I keep trying but I'm not really hitting it. And I try, you know, calling for her like if something's wrong. I can't do it. So my mom's bedroom door is open. I go in there and she's watching TV and she's sitting there. And I'm like, hey, look at me. Like I'm trying to whatever and I'm like the things are still moving I see everything in clear detail except for it's still that image and she's like still watching TV she's not looking at me she can't hear me I can't say anything I'm really struggling and I'm really upset and I'm freaking out 
Now, the worst part of the thing is, is that, and I remember it more coming back to my bedroom in the dream. It's very hard for me to walk. I'm like, I'm, I can't really call it stumbling. It's almost like my feet aren't. Now, I've had nightmares. I have had night terrors. I've had creepy dreams for as long as I can remember. Um, a lot of my dreams, like as a child, I remember.